Good. Good morning, learners. It's good to have you all here. I believe your day is going to be smooth. In our last class, we started a talk of pollution, and we defined pollution as the alteration of the environment caused by man. When man introduces impurities into the environment, it causes the environment to be unfavorable and can even cause harm to man and animals. And we looked at types of pollution. We listed out air pollution, water pollution, and land pollution. I remember I told you that noise pollution is not a type of pollution because noise itself is a source of air, so it is a form of air pollutant. We also went to explain air pollution last week, and we listed out some pollutants of air like carbon dioxide from burning of firewood, coal, carbon monoxide from the exhaust of automobiles, and so on and so forth. Today we are going to do water pollution. I'm going to look at water pollution, the causes of water pollution, and the effects of water pollutants in the environment. Water pollution is the discharge into water bodies of any substance, any substance at all, and it's usually by man, which may become harmful to plants and animals in the water and make them unfit for consumption. We know that aquatic animals live in the water. So when man releases harmful substances into these water bodies, it causes the animals in the water to do what we unfit for us, human consumption. What are the causes of water pollution? We look at the water pollutants, the things that cause water pollution. The first one is refuse and waste. Refuse and waste. I believe right now we know the difference between refuse and waste. Now how does refuse and waste cause pollution? In riverine areas or rural areas where people live, they tend to dump their refuse in water, large water bodies. They use that as their custody. They carry their, their refuse and they dump it into the water bodies. Then waste or sewage from our kitchen and our toilets are being passed from underground pipes from septic tanks into large water bodies, causing the water to be what? Unsafe. It builds up the bacteria in the water system. And if this water is being transported to our different channels of water supply, it makes the water unsafe for drinking. The second pollutant of water is petroleum hydrocarbon, crude or refined, or from oil spill. You know, vandalization of pipes, rigging activities are all ongoing right now. And when these petroleum hydrocarbons are spilled into water bodies, it builds up heavy chemicals in the system, in the water system, and it cuts off the oxygen supply. So it makes the animals and the plants in the water bodies to die. The poisonous chemicals and industrial waste from factories, hospitals, schools, when they are washed into these water bodies, they cut down oxygen supply and can lead to death of aquatic life. Fertilizers. Farm animal, uh, farm, farmers sorry, you use fertilizers in their farms to do what? Treat or enrich the soil to boost up the fertility. When it rains, these fertilizers are washed into various water bodies and it increases the nitrogen content, the phosphorus content, the calcium in the water and causes it to do the cliff, the oxygen content. And also clear vegetation. Most every farmers clear their land, they dump this clear vegetation in the water bodies and when it decays, causes what harm to water bodies and aquatic organisms. Quickly, we are going to look at the effects of water pollutants. Untreated sewage, remember sewage, refuge and sewage one of the pollutants. It results in diseases such as dysentery, cholera, type of ETC. When people drink water that is contaminated by refuge and sewage, they stand the risk of getting all the diseases. Then also, untreated sewage and waste also leads to reduction in the level of dissolved oxygen in water. Detergents and fertilizers, when they are washed into the water bodies, they increase the quantity of phosphates, making the water turbid, unclear, and foamy, and it leads to shortage of oxygen. Some farmers don't clear the dish like I've explained into water. They are decay causes such a shortage of oxygen for aquatic organisms. So you can see that the effect is mostly on aquatic organisms, plants and animals that live in the water, in the water. So these are some Causes of water, these are not all, these are not some in outline. They are effects on what? water, body, and how they tend to make water unsafe for drinking. They tend to make animals and plants in the water unfit for water consumption. Thank you.